you guys and welcome back to the vlog. Here is episode 8. It is March 9th today and seriously so gorgeous. The video doesn't even do it justice. Um, it was a high of 67 degrees today so most of our ground is thawed. Today is a Tuesday. Our plumber comes on Thursday so in two days. Our front porch got put on. I'm so excited. It looks gorgeous. Let me just give you a closer up view of how big these beams are. We've got eight by eight. We also have some extra steel left over that we're gonna use for a chicken coop down the line. But they were able to get this done this past week and it just looks so beautiful. So this is how big the beam is. This is compared to my hand, it's huge. Let's go inside and see. We're just cleaning things up so that we can get ready for the plumbers. Look at that. So beautiful. Polly is over there picking some stuff up, but it is unreal. We have most of the foam. It's 125 sheets here. And I need 10 more. Cutting down some of them because on the walls, you, I want foam. Then you want to have foam coming up as well. This one was a real pain. I was trying to do it first, but I'm thinking what I can do is I'm going to butt if this is my full sheet. I'm going to Put that in first, and then I'm gonna run this side sheet, and it's gonna be shorter than this, so I won't bear it as far, but I can just screw it together, and then um, with a couple long screws, and that'll save me from digging out. I think that'll be a lot faster. Right here is like the controls. <clears throat>
our in floor heating is all stapled in. Polly and I just finished. It was quite the job. In a bit of a dilemma, we had purchased foam. Um, it was like the little thin one inch, half inch, one inch foam um, boards. Today it's been super, super windy in Michigan and we came to the property to get ready for our concrete, which goes in tomorrow and all of our foam blew everywhere. It is in our neighbor's this yard. Foam has cost us money and done us nothing. Yeah, I don't know if you guys heard that. He said this foam has cost us money and done us nothing. We ended up not being able to use it. So now we are picking up all sorts of foam we had literally a huge thing of foam sitting in a plastic thing and it must have fallen over and it's everywhere. It's all over our property, all over our in-laws property, well my in-laws property, and then all over our neighbors. So right. Polly is picking it up and yeah, so that's what we're, we've been doing for like the last half hour since we've been here is driving around all of our acreage and everybody else's acreage to get this foam. Oh, there's some right in there too. And it's fiberglass foam too. And so I picked some up without any like gloves and my hands are so itchy. It's right here. I don't either. There's a the handle. There is <laughs> no handle. <laughs> Keep going. Well, wow. babe, I didn't want you to fall. Oh my, oh my gosh, just right. I've never been over here. Oh, it's ours. Oh, no, it's my dad's. Oh, my gosh. Okay, the over there. <gasps> that was my head. Okay, this is the first load of foam that we've just picked up from everywhere. And it's all over. And that over there is where it's coming from. But there's two main stacks of foam right there that we had to pick up that was scattered throughout the whole entire property. It came from like this stack right here and sadly we haven't even been able to use it so it cost us a lot of money and a lot of time. <laughs> um, but right now we're just finishing cleaning up our garage area so that when the country guys come tomorrow it's all nice and picked up for them. Um, our in-floor heating tubes have been put in. We did that over the weekend. And then Paul pressurized all of this. We've got all of those pressurized. Um, yeah, lots of things happening. They have like this huge industrial light, which we can't use, but that's okay. So now we're on to cleaning things up and then concrete. too when you're fixing your roof he's literally going out on it it's 904 oh my gosh hopefully the moon brings him a lot of light I can't even see you. Polly's back down on the ground. He's got this like rubber tar all over his hand. Blood. Some blood. But I did it and it's much safer than going on that ladder. Yeah. But it was right up there. And there is that one. 
So we got them fixed. By we, I mean Polly. Flex seal. As seen on TV. <laughs> That's a lot of damage. Oh man. This will probably be one of the last videos that you guys will see. Our actual radiant floor heating. Concrete goes in tomorrow. Very stoked about that. Very excited. I feel like that took forever to come to, so here we are. Thank you so much for tuning in to this video. If you like it, be sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next episode.